Uh, joining us to share more about the device's impact on our well-being and why it's important to put them down sometimes is Mark Ostrash. He's a member of the Digital Wellness Collective. Welcome, Mark. Thanks for being with us. We have a digital wellness expert, author of a book released last year called Courage to Connect, stories that encourage meaningful connection in your life. Mark, welcome to the Paul W. Smith Show. Welcome to Studio 10 today, Mark Ostash. I'm so excited to chat with you a little bit about this. Well, how good can it be for a person to really separate themselves and to take this break? What kind of an impact can it make on a person? We all are uh, craving attention and some level of understanding and likes and comments can only get us so far. So true relationships thrive when we have a chance to be together in person. Uh, and as I like to remind people, I truly believe that human connection is the most powerful connection we have. Ostash speaks to companies and organizations on the psychology of technology. Here, let's start by just defining what digital wellness is. And as, it's, uh, as you think about your entire wellness, your digital wellness is looking at the, the calories you consume online through the content you watch through Netflix or through social media or your news headlines and how that impacts your mind, body, and spirit, and most importantly, how it impacts your relationships. Now more than ever, we need to really double down on how we want to transform the new year with new ways, new habits, new things. Some people might feel really exhausted because it took more energy to get dressed, put, do your makeup, comb your hair, uh, drive to the office, uh, where others are just uh, haven't had this much uh, in-person conversation in a long time. So give each other patience uh, and extend that same patience to yourself. I mean, yes. I get on this phone and I'm on videos and it's well, just hard I mean, to, we all have three screens in front yeah, of us right now. It's hard you know? to put it down. What, what do you tell folks? Yeah, I really think that today, if you're going to consider unplugging, don't, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to unplug for the entire day with work commitments and the digital life we live in 2022. But just take one hour today and take a digital fast. All right, Mark, these are great notes. And before I let you go, what are some tips you can provide us to help protect that digital health we talked about? Stop doom scrolling. If you find yourself at night uh, before you go to bed or right before you wake up, just checking, uh, you know, uh, y y your news headlines or looking at the COVID stats, you might find yourself feeling more uh, fear and dreadful. So stop doom scrolling. It's been a wild 18 months. And I think what we're all craving is connection with our hearts. And if we can offer that in the workplace, uh, we'll feel that much more connected and productive as teams. So I'm gonna take your advice and go out for a little stroll and get some fresh air. Thank you for your time today. I love it, thank you, Holly. I am 100% I'm behind this. I'm, I'm tossing my phone out the door. Mark, thank you Let's so much. Let's do it, let's do it, let's go. <laughs> I am game on. All right. Thank you, have a great day. Thank you, Mark, thanks for helping us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Paul W.